So, we just had an amazing day of skateboarding. It is fall. It's freezing. And it's getting cold out. And oh. it's a good time to be riding a skateboard. And it's even a better time to be building a skateboard. Oh, yeah. So, we have gotten a little bit more elaborate. The, uh, the hand clamps were giving me blisters. And oh. I don't need any more blisters. So, we invested in another bottle jack and press. And then we recycled some old glue lambs that we found floating yeah, around. Because we don't need the older bottle press because we're now casting our axles into oh, the... Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's, the, let's just say we, we've, we've simplified the trucks to the point where we can now experiment with decks, which I know, I know. We probably said somewhere that we were never going to experiment with decks because that's not what we do. We build <laughs> trucks, but we, uh, we've opened ourselves up to a little bit more experimentation. So what you see here is... You know, the first experiments at building a more, you know, long-term press. I'm pretty happy. I think it'll, it'll do what we need. Mm -hmm. And the really top secret part about our press is that it's going to be modular. Oh, yes. Modular. It's not just a fancy word. It's modular. And is what, uh, is that, is what that's going to allow us to do is we're actually going to be able to configure the front and the rear differently from one another so that when we press our plies in there we can simply interchange the parts that are going to be pressing the plies so that we can make it either a symmetric skateboard or an asymmetric skateboard. Oh, but, but, but Riley, how are we going to make those pieces? <laughs> well, that's where the polyethylene comes into mm -hmm. play. Ooh. Ooh, yes. Inch thick polyethylene. These are going to be dropped into the, uh, the CNC machine. Oh yes, we're sophisticated enough to know about the CNC machine. So we're going to take that and we're actually going to machine the, uh, the profile of the deck, which, oh yes, we've designed the deck in computer world <laughs> with uh, computer-aided drafting. And uh, that is what's going to cut... Design all Is of that what CAD stands for? Yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's what's going to generate all of our cut paths so that we can cut that out of the plastic and then basically just drop it right into mm. our mold and then lay in our, uh, our layup schedule to press boards. I mean, click clunk. So basically, these are going to be the interchangeable slugs that will create the profile for the deck. Nice. Yeah. Sweet. I know. It's going to be really good. And we have over 12 tons of clamping force that can be easily done by one person without getting blisters. <laughs> it's, all, it's, a, it's a new exercise program. It's, it's training for next season. Just because it's getting cold outside doesn't mean you shouldn't be riding or building skateboards. That's how we work here at yeah. Other Planet Skate. Let's just say, don't be bored. Alright. Make board. Make board. <laughs> Boop. Make board. Make board good. So, we're using better wood. We now have six ton jacks in tandem forcing down on the existing press that we have been mm -hmm. using for all intensive purposes with blue lamb supporting the uh, the backbone yeah. of the whole project. Still a, a bit of a works in progress. Definitely. We're, uh, we're definitely noticing uh, tolerance issues between the male and the female piece just because they're not fitting together quite as well as they could. So it'll get better. Yeah. And we're actually going to add a piece of uh, cork to help sum up the difference. And then we're thinking about adding it to the concrete now yeah. also. Yeah, the, the big difference here is before the uh, the wood would actually deform to fit the concrete a uh, pretty good amount. So the concrete was definitely more of the backbone being backed by steel and yeah. having a much more compressive. Yeah, but that, that can't happen now where it's flat against this mm -hmm. board. So so more cork hopefully should solve that problem. Yeah. If well, it's, I don't think it'll be a problem, but it'll make us happier. Mm -hmm. Do you think it's got enough pressure just from the one? Yeah. It's not even though. So, for this it works. If it doesn't, 
Guess who's not <laughs> Hey, whoa, it's just because I'm too strong, right? <laughs> we just pressed up the first board with our new 12-ton hydraulic jack press. Mm -hmm. And this is the masterwork of it. Yeah. We've upgraded the uh, the Baltic birch oh, to yeah, a higher we got quality. A, a new supplier, cheaper, nine dollars, a five by five sheet instead of twenty two for a less for less mediocre quality. wood. Yeah. We're now yeah. at the top notch furniture grade Baltic. I'm excited to ride the skate, see how it feels, yeah. what its Ooh, torsional we, rigidity is like. We got this new laminate here, and this actually this Formica laminate has actual real bamboo layer on the top of it. It's really thin, probably about a 64 of an inch or less, but it is actually bamboo and it will provide its bamboo strength. So we're excited to see how much it affects things. Yes. Very, very nice. Mm. All right, David, give us the... Uh... <laughs> Other plants skate over and out.